Hey, 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 Terry Ann Hyman here with Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Coming on live tonight for our energy focus of the week. I'm a little early, I'm traveling, I'm at a business convention, biz club. I'm on Eastern time tonight, so come on in and join me. We're gonna look at what the energy is ahead for this week. Pick a few cards, maybe you've chosen one, and just talk about how we can bring our energy together and focus going forward for the week that we have. So if you're around, come on in, say hello so that I know you're here. We're gonna look at how we can focus our energy, how we can use what's going on right now in the cosmos to pull it all together. The thing we're talking about this week is fun. What is it you do for fun? Do you really recognize the advantages of having fun or do you work really hard? Which is it for you? Give me a hashtag fun. Hey, Adrian, or give me a hashtag too much work. What is it for you right now? And how can you really begin to use this energy to really open up this week as we go through? Lots going on. Hey, Millie, how are you too? What is it for you, Millie? Hashtag fun or hashtag too much work? I know I can be very, very much in that too much work. So yes, I'm learning a lot about what fun is. How is it for you? We're gonna talk about that as we focus our work Focus our energy for the week. I'm up here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been really busy all weekend, really focusing on business aspects, really stepping into my power even greater. My mind is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. All the information I've been learning on how to successfully show up in the world. So yeah, I'm gonna share that with you guys as well as focus our energy. So if you would do me a favor, I'm kinda out of sorts. I don't have my usual tools here. Trying to find a place to share this. So if you would do me a favor and share it out and then comment below, comment which it is for you. Do you understand the importance of playing and having fun? Or is it something that you struggle with? Kind of like me, I admit, I do struggle with that. I don't make enough time for it. I know, okay, here it is, I found it. I know that I do make time for meditation, I make time for yoga, but really getting out there and having fun is something that I definitely, have to work on. What is it for you? Let me know, leave me a comment below. And if you would share this, let me share it to the group. Yeah, and if you're not in the Empowered Spirit Circle, come on over to Facebook and join in. It's lots of fun, we have stuff going on, lots of postings about the cosmos, people sharing. All right, I'm gonna share it one more time here and then I'll focus in. Powered Spirit Circle, come on over and join us. The group is growing. Oh, and also I have another request. I am two away on Natural Forces Studio from 1,000 likes. Help me out. If you hadn't liked my page, go ahead and like it. Yes, let me get to that 1K mark. That would feel awesome. All right, there we go. I shared it, maybe you did too. If you haven't chosen a number, we're using the Wild Unknown. Go ahead and pick a card, one, two, or three. We're gonna talk about the energy of the cards. Love the way they show up, perfect timing. So I don't have any sage, but I'm traveling with my Palo Santo spray. So I'm just gonna spray the area around. Something you can do when you travel too. They don't allow smoke in the room, so we use spray. So come on in. Take a moment, take a nice deep inhale, and just exhale out. Just join your energies, we're on that different time zone. Hey Brent Law, I wish I could get up there to your lodges. Oh man, I am going too soon. All right, so just take a moment and center your energies, pull it all in. Maybe you've been running around all weekend, the weather's shifting, the time, the days are getting shorter, maybe you're feeling that too. So maybe this will help you come in and pull your energy together so we can focus for the week. There's a lot going on in the cosmos. We're headed into a new moon on Saturday, but in order to get to that new moon, we kind of have to go through some of the darkness that's around. It's a new moon in Scorpio. So we're in the sun of Scorpio, the new moon of Scorpio. Scorpio's got that really deep energy. I know I got it in my rising. So it can be a really deep, but it also can help you open up to your spiritual practice. Really important that we embrace that spirituality within us, that we open up, go deep. All right, it is that time to rake away, all right? We're in the fall, it is that time to rake away those leaves, burn them off, transform that energy, transform it so you can feel the lightness, so you can celebrate, especially the harvest in your life. That's really important this time of year. Community, coming together, getting out of our routine, mundane circumstances, really important. 
And actually, that's what we're talking about tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. My guest is Clay Dunbar, Sukaba Bode. That's his other name. And he's talking about what he's doing in the collective consciousness, really kind of coming together and creating these big, huge art extravaganzas here in Birmingham, costume and lights and music to help people expand their consciousness, to really help them open up to situations that may not normally be in. So with the help of the music and the lights and the art, we can expand our consciousness and we can open up and really make a difference in the way that we're looking at our life right now. Really important to be able to expand that consciousness. So that's kind of what we're moving into this week. Monday is gonna be a little bit like lay low, just chill. Kind of ride through the day, we conserve your energy. Tuesday and Wednesday are more productive for business, all right? Then as we get into Thursday and Friday, that's when we start to feel that dark of the moon. So try to get your heavy work out of the way. So Thursday and Friday, you can really kind of come into that deeper place. Dark of the moons can be hard for some people, all right? So just imagine that opening up of that shadow side with you by shining the light within. That's how we do it. And then Saturday is a perfect time to get out there, have fun, socialize, open up to that new manifestation with the new moon. So that's what we have coming up for us. All right, so let's take a moment before we get into the cards and let's just center our energies. So wherever you are, if you can, take a deep breath. You can tell I'm fired up from this week. Exhale out. And just take a nice moment, nice breath. Pull it up from the universe. Open it up through the crown, up into the heavens. And just call in divine guidance. Call in your masters, your teachers, the archangels. And ask that they work with you and through you, with all of us, as we open up to the energy of this week ahead. Pull your energy in. Let us honor a place in the universe right here. We're in the season of fall, the direction of the west. We honor the sunset. We honor our struggles. We honor the harvest in our life as well. We honor the west, the north, the east, and the south. Above us, below us, right into the very center. Asking for anything less than light to be gone. And only the highest vibrations be with us as we open up to this week. Take another deep inhale. And just feel the stress. Let it go. Feel the anxiety. Feel the anxiousness from Sunday night running away. Let it fall off. Take a nice deep inhale. Breathe in through the right side. And just exhale out the left. Breathe in through the left. And exhale out through the right. Slow down. Inhale through the right. Exhale out through the left. Inhale through the left. And exhale out through the right. Send all that breath down deep into beautiful Mother Earth. Feel that connection with Mother Earth. As you inhale, bring the breath up one more time, up into the heavens. And as you exhale, bring the energy down deep into the earth. Go right into the very center of your heart. Feel that deep connection within you. Center that connection. Feel the spiritual energy aligning with the physical. Shoulders over shoulders, hips over hips, feet in the feet. Bring your energy in, calling back all the parts that you've scattered throughout the week. Feel yourself centering. And just for a moment, focus on the week ahead. Whether you see your calendar, whether you see your schedule, whether you just see yourself moving through the week, see it with ease, with grace, and with fun. Let us open up to the celebrations of our life right now. Inhaling and exhaling, sending the breath down, grounding your energy, coming back. Good. All right, so let's see a few more have joined us. Welcome, choose a card, one, two, three. I love the cards that are coming forward, all right? So if you chose one, some of you posted below, reading from the wild unknown, and we just kind of put that question out there, like how can you open up to celebrating your life? How can you open up to the fun that is around you? How can you play? So the first card that comes up is the Four of Wands. I love this. This is a card all about celebration. I love it. There's been some completion. So notice in your life, right? We're in this season of harvest. Notice in your life where you have completed things and celebrate it. Really important. Don't just push it off like check done. Celebrate that completion in your life. It's a time to come out and celebrate. All right. Yes, there are struggles this time of year, 
but we need to celebrate the ones and the things that lift us up. So look at yourself, notice what you finished, and notice where you can bring this celebration forward. Perfect for the energy towards the end of the week, especially the party the energy that we've been talking about and that new moon. Perfect card to come forward. Celebrate your life. All right, if you drew card number two, it's the lovers. I love this. This lovers card. It's about union. This is about coming together. We talk about this tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show with Clay. Union, coming in, opening up to that collective consciousness, being at one with each other and celebrating those in your life. The loyalty, the love, very important right now. Open up as we move into this holiday season. So that's the number two card. All right, the third card, if you drew three, this is the Four of Swords. All right, now this card is what we do after we party and have fun and expand our consciousness. We stop, we think, we observe, we open that third eye center, we look to where we have expanded our experiences, and then we learn from it. All right, don't just let it go blowing off everywhere, especially if you're out having fun. Come back in and realize, like, where is that celebration? What am I celebrating? Look, observe, and think about it so that you can take it to that next level. All right? Now, the overall card for everybody is the Magician card, which is a perfect card coming up for Saturday's energy of that new moon. It's about manifesting. It's about collecting all your tools, bringing all your tools together. Look, they're right here. Look at that infinite possibility. It's around us. So as you go through the week, if you drew this card, be sure to let go of what's not working. Let go of the darker parts of who you are so that you can open up and manifest what it is you want with that new moon coming forward. Go deep with those manifestations. That's what that Scorpio energy reminds us to do. All right, so let's just kind of pull it all together for all of us that are listening out there, whether you chose a card or not. Let's see how it all fits in. All right, so as we go to manifest for the new moon, that's our anchor card. That's the main card we're working with for all of us. All right, as you go to manifest, make sure you finish your business first. Whatever it is that you're doing, if you finish something Make sure you have that ability to complete it and celebrate it. Really important. Bring that celebration forward as you go forward this week. Look at the unions in your life. All right, the lover's card. Look at where you connect to others. Look at how loyal you are, too, with that love that you have for one another. That collective consciousness energy comes forward this time of year. Very important. And then the third thing in order to manifest is to listen, to look. To see, look at the sick of that third eye in there. So look and see and be quiet after you get that parting out, all right? After you move through Saturday, about this time next week, start to bring it all in and understand where you are. If you're moving around too fast, you can't observe it, all right? So as we go through this week, notice your work. Notice where you can celebrate and have fun. Open up and to get out of that routine that we all get ourselves in. It's a really good time to start doing that. We come into the holiday season. All right, really important that we open up. We celebrate with each other. We have that collective consciousness to open up and expand. All right, and again, we're talking about that tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show with Clay Dunbar. His C4 Productions, he has that Area 54 party coming up. Very interesting of how they put these concepts together and all the artists in town in Birmingham that are putting this on. All right, so if you can join them, all right, more information on that on the EmpoweredSpiritShow.com, you can find that out. But in your own life, all right, I know this time of year can be rough. I know with family, it can be very difficult. But celebrate you celebrate where you fit in with each and every other person know what that union is as you move forward into your life this week focus your energy start slow start easy be productive on tuesday and wednesday and then as you get into thursday and friday know the emotional energy is going to churn churn up as we move into the dark of the moon and then we open up saturday new intentions new moon put it out there really important time all right, guys, I'm on location, going to cut it short tonight. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. If you're not already a part of it, join. And if you haven't liked my Natural Forces Studio page, go ahead and push like. I'm two away from 1,000. That would feel very good to do. Have a great week. Post below any comments that you have. I'll post the cards in a little bit. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow on air, Empowered Spirit Show with Sukhavid Bode, Clay Dunbar. All right, have a great night. Pull your energy in. Be empowered to your spirit. Namaste.